welcome on board so to see the female version of this video go ahead and click the link in the description box or you can go through my IGTV. This video is for my fellas who are not necessarily out here trying to be Mr. Fashion of the Year with 100k followers, but guys who want to simply be able to put their pieces together and step out with style and confidence. So these are five style investments that I think you should make when you're trying to refine and define your style. why do i call it investment well investment is anything they're going to put time effort resources in that should guarantee you some type of a return and so the return that you're looking for is the confidence when you put on your clothes and step out the peace of mind knowing that you have good quality pieces in your wardrobe and that you're able to present yourself in at an occasion or for an event and you don't have to worry about looking like a hot mess Okay, of course, jeans, like the most worn article of clothing. You want to make sure that you get a good fit of jeans, something that you can wear casually and you can also transform it for like a business call. And I found an article that I found very informative and I linked it in the description box below. And it goes in detail about some of the different styles that you can get for your jeans. So depending on your body type, depending on your personality and your preference, and also depending on the occasions that you usually attend, then you're going to want to choose your pieces around that. Now, there are different washes, so you have lights and darks. There are different styles, so you have like acid wash or distressed jeans, and then you have plain jeans, and you have different cuts like boots, cuts, or straight, skinny, such. Now, I would say go with some plain, darker jeans if you are just starting out. Again, this is for people who are building from the ground up and you're trying to come up. So it's nothing wrong with having distressed jeans, but if you're trying to look for the most practicality, distressed acid wash jeans is not going to cut it because say somebody invites you out to a brunch some kind of business call you know you can dress up some plain jeans but if you only have acid wash distressed jeans then i think that is going to be a little inappropriate with some simple plain jeans like these you can definitely dress it up with some nice dress shoes or you can even dress it down with your J's if you're into that, your Converse, your loafers, your boat shoes. You're not expected to buy jeans often. So I would suggest that you invest some good money in buying some good quality jeans. And certain brands as we know it, Heavy Hitters, the Calvin Klein, the Levi's, the Wranglers, these are good brands that will give you some nice quality jeans that you can have for a long time men's clothes are so much more expensive than female clothes so when you do buy something make sure it lasts number two oh my heart no gentlemen uh -huh. all right if you want blood for well they just step out in a nice well tailored suit because you're going to be called upon to go to a graduation to go to a ceremony to go to a black tie event yeah you need to have a fitted suit in your wardrobe okay because you don't want to have to worry about the headache last minute running around trying to find something and then when you do find it then trying to find a tailor to make it fitted and look nice now i remember back in the day they used to wear the oversized suits I know that fashion recycles itself, but now in 2020, that's not really what we're wearing. So make sure that you get your suits tailored. You may not be able to just walk up into a store and then just buy jacket and pants and then it fits you perfectly. You may need to seek out a tailor so that your suit fits you well because honey, when you guys wear your suits and it fits you well, mm, please praise, praise them. Yeah. So, in terms of what color to get, you're going to want to get something that is most practical. So, of course, your black is a sure win. Some dark colors like your navy or a charcoal gray or even a deep olive. Why? Because, I mean, you show up in this red suit. Yeah, it's fashionable, but how practical is it? Yeah, you're going to wear it to your cousin graduation and you're going to also wear it to that event. And then you're going to also wear it with a black suit. You can easily slide under the radar. You know, you just change out the bow tie, change out the shirts on the inside and you can finish it like that. For starters, I would recommend you getting one of those darker colors and then you can evolve, I guess, into lighter colors and even printed suits like this one, which is fire oh another thing that makes us weak in the knees ah! 
some nice dress shoes boy yeah yes honey you need to invest in uh, some nice dress shoes yeah we have the loafers we have the chelsea boots we have the monk shoes okay so in terms of color again we're going with practical colors right again we're building our closets from growing up so you're black or your cognac colors which is this color right here i think i prefer the cognac color personally because you can wear whatever other color you want to wear and it's versatile i remember i talk about my base colors i know i usually talk about that in my videos with women but the same applies for you men black white gray navy brown tan those are your base colors those are your most fundamental colors and they will practically go with every other thing in your closet now of those six colors there are some that are more practical than others because you're not going to really be rolling up in a white suit every day to work or white pants every day to work you know if you have some black pants you can keep wearing it over and over and it kind of go under the radar and you can finesse it a little more so some of these colors are more practical than others the cognac will fall under that brown category so see brown will be able to go with practically everything and it just has like this nice appeal to it I don't want to be biased and tell you, oh yeah, get it, but get it. <laughs> Here is one thing I learned in my whole research that stitched shoes last longer um, than glued. So if you are, you know, going shopping and you are trying to deliver it with, between two pairs of shoes, then, I mean, there's a tip. Clarks. Uh, Kenneth Cole, J. Murphy, these are some good brands um, that will give you quality for your money there is a brand that came across called taft they have some good looking shoes i don't know much about the durability or the comfort level of those shoes but you can give it a try look at some of the reviews and see what they say like you have your oxfords you have your chelsea boots you have your monk shoes you have your loafers and i look the loafers yes so the loafers you can find that you can dress those down you can dress them up i think the monk shoes are a little more dressy so if you're gonna choose you know it's we're still trying to be as practical as possible just starting to know building this thing the 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 loafers i would probably go with the loafers or the chelsea boots i find like the loafers you can run them across the spectrum of casual into elegant now it is time for number four clever a good watch gentlemen you don't have to spend a arm a harm you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get a good watch it don't have to be rolex okay you just want something that is stylish that is durable when you step over boom it just i feel like a good watch will solidify your look just say boom i ate that yeah your mother oh, so special so special so special fossil I've been paying attention to Fossil since I got my Fossil watch and they have a good selection of watches. There is also Invicta and Vincero. So these are four brands that I think deliver. Just expect, again, it's an investment. So expect to pay upfront, but you will know that you have a good quality product. And number five, okay, story time. So my dear friend, God bless his heart. So we roll up at these semi-formal events. Like, you know, you're supposed to look well put together. The ladies wear dress and heels. Yeah. So homeboy is wearing shirt, dress shirt, dress pants, some nice loafers, and has on a cloth belt. <coughs> I felt like I was just yank him and throw him through the window with no parachute. So don't do that. And I guess to his defense, it's better than wearing no belt at all. You want to make sure you invest in a good leather belts okay so the cloth belts are fine and it's no problem if you have them but think about if you're going to a formal event you don't want to roll up with a leather belt okay it's better you have the leather belts and you wear the leather belt in a casual setting and then also when you're wearing a suit you can still use it there so first things first get the leather belt some of your fathers and grandfathers would probably still stick to this the belt has to match the shoes type of thing we're kind of out of that era and we are now delving in you know fashion expressions your belt really does not have to match your shoes but here's one tip you can get a belt that is reversible so you'll have a black and a brown so it, it it has a way of just like clicking up and then you turn it around to the side that you want i think that's such an innovative idea and such a great investment they're not going to be so expensive but if you do want to go for quality quality that way you have it for a long time definitely invest because you will have it for a long time and all of this is available on my blog at yourstyleattendance.com so guys let me know what you think of this video do you already have some of these pieces do you need to get any 
more of there and what else you think you could probably add into this list to help build your closet so take this information as me giving in giving you something that you can use to your advantage to be able to put some pieces together and feel good about your look and you step out and be like yeah i like that so if you like this video go ahead hit like also hit subscribe if you're on youtube and follow me on instagram and send it to somebody who you think can benefit from some style tips you know i just want to see you shine and step out with style oh that right shine that right yeah we're gonna be last song fan that yeah so be sure to check out the female version of this video and until next time it's your girl miss fee your style attendant whatever you do baby keep it stylish keep it confident and always fly higher